always tracking, always alerting. Here's your StormTrack 15 weather. It is 516, almost 517. Adam Olivier standing by and he brought a friend, Apollo. Adam and Apollo. Yeah, and uh, Apollo's friend too, because Apollo is just enjoying some nice lazy times <laughs> there in bed. And you know, today, at least this morning, Scott, if you can, you know, take a few extra minutes, maybe stay in bed a little while longer, I'd say even possibly open up the windows. It feels pretty nice outside. Yeah. Not bad at all for your dog walking forecast. Kind of a lazy day out there. You can see we have those temperatures in the 70s by 8 o'clock, mid 80s by 10. Lots of sunlight here by midday. It really does start getting hot towards the afternoon, but you find yourself some shade and oh wow, it's actually going to feel kind of nice. If you want to see your dog, just like Apollo here on Good Day Acadiana, send us those pictures. We do love to see them. Our satellite and radar right now showing that we have a stalled frontal boundary just offshore. There's some showers and storms south of Sabine Pass, but outside of that, there's no rain to track around here. And dew points across the south really have settled. I mean, we got 50 degree dew points up into Jackson, lower 60s, Monroe and Natchez, even here in Lafayette, mid 60 degree dew points. So some good feeling dry air. The real sticky, humid stuff is back out into central Texas. And really, we may see dew points later on today drop into the 50s. Same deal going into the day tomorrow. However, you can see it there. Oh boy, the later in the day we go, those really high humid conditions, they work their way back on into the picture. And then we get into Friday and it just turns back into that sticky feeling air. But let's enjoy the good stuff that we have out there right now. Clear skies and not seeing a lot of that sticky haze that we typically do from our Hub City Tower camera. 68 right now in Opelousas, 69 in Ville Platte. Abbeville, you were down to 69. You come up a degree to 70, but still lower 70s in the morning time feels pretty good. This afternoon, we will get hot in the mid 90s with lots of sunlight. But again, if you can find some shade, it's going to be fine. Remember to stay hydrated. Drink water, though, still with these hot temperatures. And of course, wear that sunscreen. Overnight, I still think we get down to the 60s here in many areas, lower 70s. And then tomorrow, we'll get into the mid and upper 90s for daytime highs. A few clouds sneak on in late in the day because of that higher humidity. Rain chances here, well, they will be on the rise once we get to your Friday and then especially into the weekend for some spotty natured showers and storms. A weak disturbance is going to push its way through the area here, and that's going to lead to some rain chances. Good news with that is we will be watching for our temperatures to stay on the, I guess you could say, cooler side. We're not going to be looking at any hundreds anytime soon, but we are going to be looking at those higher humid conditions sticking around for the next few days uh, once we get past the weekend and into early next week. But at least for the next day or so, we will enjoy some nicer conditions here with lots of sunlight and also that uh, good feeling morning time weather in the picture there. Yeah, you know, I noticed that I didn't notice anything. How about that? I yeah. know, right, you country, noticed country that you music did. suddenly. I, I noticed that I didn't notice when I walked out into the corporate, because usually there's that wave of heat, there's a gloss of fog, and it wasn't there today. Yeah, no, it really feels nice outside. You get out there and you're like, huh, if it was like this every day, it wouldn't be so bad. Yeah, well, pick up something on the tip jar on your way out. Well, you got to put something in there first. Oh, thank you, Adam. Or you can give me a tip. <laughs> I could, yeah. and I should. Thank you, Adam. <laughs>